Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the Laplace transformation. Today we will discuss about how you can find the Laplace transformation of the integrals like of this, that is the Laplace transformation of this integration. Here the major important thing you have to remember, it is the limit should be from 0 to t. It can never be from 0 to 1, it can never be from 0 to 3 or it can never be from 1 to 7. In this case you can't find the Laplace transformation by the method which we are discussed in this video. So we will try to explain the several examples in this lecture. You can see in all the case the limits are from 0 to t, all are double integrations, single integration all are my from 0 to t. Then you can apply this method whichever we have discussed in this lecture. Myself Dr. Garg, you can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Garg for finding the various videos on this Laplace transformation. So what is the result is if you have the Laplace transformation of f of t then you can find the Laplace transformation of 0 to t is here. What is, how you can remember this that is whenever this integration of 0 to t of this part then you can replace this Laplace and the integration is divided by s simple and then the remaining part is Laplace of this f of t. So here I consider the Laplace is f of s, so I can return like here. Proof is very simple, I can consider this integration part as say g of t. Then what is the derivative of this with respect to the t? Is integration will be cancelled out, it is f of t. And what is the g of 0? So what is the g of 0 is limit from 0 to 0, f of u du. So since both the limits are same, it is answer is 0. Then you can apply the Laplace transformation on the both side. What is the Laplace transformation of the derivative? So as we know the Laplace transformation of derivative is my here. What is the g of 0? This is 0 so I can take this as a 0. What is the Laplace of g of t from here? That is fs divided by s. So I can substitute g of t here. You will get the required expression. So remember this important tips for you, if it is of the single integration then it is a s, if it is of the double integration then it is s square, if this is of the n times integration then you have to return as s of n, then the remaining part is the Laplace of the f of t. So we will describe these several examples are there, so before solving this several kind of the examples we need to know how we can find the first shifting theorem multiplication by t division by t rules for finding the Laplace transformation. All you can find in my channel mathematics, uh, all my playlist mathematics 2 channel name Dr. Harish Kar. So let's start with this uh, 10 to 15 examples in a quick manner in this video. You have to find the Laplace transformation of this. That means your target is to find of here. Now this again the limit is from my 0 to t so we can apply the Laplace transformation on here which is nothing but divided by s and the remaining part is Laplace of this portion. Now here how you can find the Laplace of this because it is a divided by the polynomial the degree is my 1 so what is the meaning of that you have to in integrate from s to infinity. If it is of the s square then you have to integrate double from here but right now in this case it is of the single integration because of the polynomial degree 1 you can write here. And how you can open this? What is the Laplace of e raised to power minus of t? 1 over s minus 1, s plus 1. And what is the Laplace of the 1 is? 1 over s. I can op write like here. So what is the integration of the 1 by s? Is ln of here. Now if you apply the s, so it is a ln of infinity, ln of infinity which is undefined. So how you can do that? I can take here is ln of m, ln of n is ln of m by n. Now if you take infinity, it's a infinity over infinity, so we apply the Allopita rule, so it is my ln of 1 over 1, ln of 1 is my 0, so whenever it's a infinity, it's a 0 minus, when you take as a s, so it is ln s plus 1 over s. So I can adjust this negative sign, I can change the ratio, which is written like, here is the answer of this problem. Again the second and third example you can see the limits are from 0 to t, again from 0 to t. So how you can solve this? We can take 1 by s of Laplace of here. 
what is the Laplace of the cos? We all know the Laplace of the cos is my s over here. This s will be cancelled out. The right answer is my here. How you can do that? Again, we can see this is the Laplace of the 0 to t. I can return like here. How you can find the Laplace of this? So because of this exponential part, we have to use the first shifting theorem. So for first shifting theorem, we have to firstly find the Laplace of this. This is s squared plus 9. Then because of this first shifting theorem, we have to replace s to the s minus a by using shifting first theorem. So I can replace s to be the s minus 2 as here. So uh, now there is will not be cancelled out. So this is a 3 over is the right. Again, you can see it's from the 0 to t. Again, it's a double integration. Now for this part, I can return like here. Again, because of the exponential part, I can apply the first shifting theorem or because of this polynomial, you can apply the multiplication by t rule. It's on your choice. So if I try to write the first shifting theorem, we all know that Laplace of the t is my here. Then by the shifting first theorem, I have to replace s to be the s minus 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 plus 3. So I have to replace this s by s plus 3. And what is the gamma function of 2? We all know that it's a 1. So we can write the answer as here. Again, in this example, there are the two integrations. Both have the 0 to t. So what is the integration of this is 1 by s square. How you solve this one? So because of this, again, we have to apply the first shifting theorem. What is the Laplace of cos 2t, which is s over s square plus 4. Now, by using the shifting first theorem, I have to replace s to be s plus 3. So here and here. So the answer is s plus 3 over s square, s plus 3 whole square. So this is the right answer of this problem. Okay, look about this one. So again, integration from 0 to t. So I can return like of 1 by s of this. How you can solve this Laplace? Again, because of this exponential part, we have to apply the shifting first theorem. Because of this divided sign, we have to integrate from s to infinity. So I can find the Laplace transformation of this. Whatever the answer will be here, we can apply the shifting first theorem we can replace s to be s minus 1 in here. So we can start from here because it's a divided by t, so we can integrate them. What is the Laplace of the sine t is 1 over s square plus 1. What is the integration of this is tan inverse s over 1. So we can write like here. What is the infinity is pi by 2 tan inverse of s. What is the answer of this? It is a cot inverse s. So now now there is a exponential part so we can apply the shifting first theorem once we will apply the e raised to power t we have to replace s to be s minus a so you have to compare this as a t a is my 1 in this example so i have to replace here so i can substitute this value this you will get the right answer as here look at the next one again from the 0 to t so i have to uh, use the laplace of the integral is here how you can solve this? So you can see it's exponential part. So we have to apply the first shifting theorem. It's of the polynomial type. So we have to apply the multiplication by t rule. So remember, you have to you have to apply this simple rule side. So you can see firstly Laplace of the sine of 2t is my here. We can apply this polynomial. That's the first t raised to power 1. So we can take the first derivative here. Now we can apply this exponential part, which is written like here, shifting that is s to be s plus 4. I can substitute this value as here. You will get the right answer of this. Problem. Now you can see here, but you can see there is a difference between here and the previous example. In this example, the Laplace of integration directly, but here you have to find the Laplace of exponential and then integration. So again, exponential part is here. So we have to apply the first shifting theorem. So what is the meaning of that? I have to up find the Laplace transformation of this. I have to find the Laplace transformation of this. Whatever the answer of this, say f of s, then I have to replace s to be s p 
plus 1 in here. That's the meaning of this exponential part. That's very easy. Now, how you can solve that? Now, you can see it's a Laplace. It's an integration. So, I can return as 1 over S Laplace of sine t over t. Because Laplace and integration will be 1 by S and here. So, our target is to find the Laplace of and this question is very, very important from the various examination point of view. So, our target is to be here. How you find the Laplace of this? Because of this it divided by. So, we have to use this property S to infinity. Laplace of this is my 1 by this. This is a tan inverse. As I discussed, this is a cot inverse S. I can substitute here, which is my. Now, this is the Laplace of here. So, we have to apply this. That's the shifting first theorem of the property. So, we have to apply the shifting first theorem. Replace S to be S plus 1 here and here. Now look at this one. Now you can see this is a Laplace and this is integration which can be easily cancelled out by using 1 by S. How you can solve this one? That's I discussed in the previous example. We can take from the integration of this from S to infinity. This part will be here. How you can solve this? 2 is outside. This is 1 over A tan inverse S over A. So this 2 will be cancelled out. It can be written here. Again, when you put infinity, it's a pi by 2 and of this, this part will be cot inverse s by 2 over s is the right. Again, Laplace and the integration will be cancelled out. So, it will be here. Because of this polynomial, we have to use the multiplication by t root. Remember, you have to use you have to remember this shifting first theorem multiplication by t, division by t rules in my previous lecture of 10, 8, 8 minutes are there. So, how you can solve them? Because of this multiply sign, you have to take this as of here because of the polynomial 1. So, it's the first derivative. What is the Laplace of the cos hyperbolic? S over S square minus 1 square. That is a 1. You can take the first derivative of this. You will get the right answer as here. Again, you can see in this example, the Laplace of the integration, but here is the exponential part. So, we have to apply the shifting first theorem of this. So, my target is to find the Laplace of this. Whatever the answer of this, I have to replace S to be S plus 1. How you can do that? Laplace of the integration is 1 by S of this. Here is a division by T rule. So, you can see it's a division by T rule. You have to use this for lecture. This is 1 by s from s to infinity of here. Now, once you know this part, what is the Laplace of 1? Is 1 by s. Cos is my s over s square plus 1. Integration of this is ln s. You have to multiply 2 and divide it by 2. Then it will be my ln of s square plus 1. How you can do that? I can take 2 as a common. So, it will be my 2 ln s minus ln of s square plus 1. So, clearly says that if you substitute infinity, then ln infinity and ln infinity which does not mean as anything. So, I have to write in terms of ln of m, ln of n is ln of m over n. So, I can take this 2 as power. So, it is s square over s square plus 1. 1. So, I can return like here. When you substitute infinity, it's a infinity over infinity. So, we have to apply the allopator rule. So, 2s over 2s. So, it will be cancelled out 1. ln of 1 is my 0. I can adjust this negative sign with the, uh, I can change the numerator and denominator which will be here. Now, because of this part, we have to apply the shifting first theorem by replacing s to be s plus 1. So that's all about these various examples are there. We will see some more lectures like of the inverse Laplace transformation in our next lecture. I hope you can simply learn the various concepts. You can see the previous lectures of my Laplace transformation all in my channel name Dr. Harish Gurk, playlist Mathematics 2 in this YouTube channel. I hope you can simply like, share and comment on my this video. You can share with your groups. Best of luck students. Happy learning.